Lisa McDonald's have been writing since she was five years old. Her maternal grandmother always believed that this was something she meant to pursue. Lisa writes about passion, compassion, humility, human connection, paying it forward. Lisa speaks of matters that are important to her. Few years ago, she became a writer, honoring her spirit. Lisa aligned herself with great mentors who are in the industry and share the same passion, living their life of fulfillment and joy. Hi, Adriana. Thank you so much for having me here. I'm Lisa McDonald, and I'm a local author from Dundas, Ontario, Canada. And uh, very grateful for this opportunity to have this coverage with my books and exposure, but more importantly, to meet you. I've been very fortunate and very blessed uh, that I've immersed myself and been embraced by some really stellar people who have truly guided me, instructed me, uh, taken me under their wing, and um, they're people in the industry. Four New York Times best-selling authors, Janet Bray Atwood, Chris Atwood, they co-authored uh, the New York Times best-selling book, um, The Passion Test. And so in this exact bookstore, I picked up a copy of The Passion Test about a year and a half ago. And it was at a pivotal time in my life where I had to truly redefine myself and get clear on what it was I was going to do when my youngest started school full time. Because of course the expectation was I returned to work part time, which I've never had a problem with. I've been working since 16, been on my own uh, at a very young age, been very independent, self-sufficient. And um, so I just could not really return to my previous vocation of social services. So when I got very clear as a result of reading the passion test, it truly resonated with me and I thought I need more of this in my life. And so when I got to the end of the book, I was very grateful that there was an opportunity and an option to do an online submission to become what's called a licensed passion test facilitator. And um, it really talks about formulas and principles and ideologies and philosophies that very much align somebody with the true intended path they're meant to live. And by doing so, it teaches you how to declutter, how to get rid of false beliefs and concepts that impede your ability to move on and get very clear about what you're meant to do, what you're intended to do, uh, aligning yourself with the people who radiate the same kind of energy that you do um, and uh, so it's a yummy book I've plugged it everywhere uh, it really was crucial to where I am today uh, I was accepted for the certification I've been to California I've been trained by Janet herself uh, and then as a result of her continuously mentoring me and very graciously she agreed to write the forward for my second book reimburse the universe which I was very grateful for it was uh, very much my journey coming full circle in regards to the passion test and my material is very much aligned with what the passion test speaks to so um, I then was uh, accepted back for another training opportunity by four New York Times best-selling authors, all of which have now become my mentors as well. So again, that's Janet and Chris Atwood. Uh, Marcy Shymoff. Marcy Shymoff is, uh, she's affiliated with the Chicken Soup for the Soul series. She's written seven books with the Chicken Soup for the Soul series. Uh, has written other books outside of that. Um, she's been on the same stage as the Dalai Lama. Um, she's a very sought out keynote speaker. I was up until just recently self-published, so I was pretty much wearing all those various hats that one needs to wear to get themselves launched. So my first book uh, was released from the printers this month last year. So 2014, August 2014 is when my first book, Little Boy Gan from Passionfield Everland was released from the printers. And that book, um, of course, I've been self-published now for a year up until two, or two days ago. And I signed my official contract with Friesen um, Press Publishing. So very grateful to them. I've been working closely with Lisa Ballinger. She's, she's a marketing director. She's been fantastic. Uh, we're looking to do a lot of cross prom promotional advertising. I really believe in Freeze and Press. Uh, you really get to maintain a lot of your autonomy as an author, and uh, they really are about collaboration and partnership and uh, allowing you to still hold on to the rights of your own material, and so I really subscribe to that. 
Um, so I, I'm very grateful to even where we are. This is one of many bookstores who has embraced me to do book signings. And as a self-published author, you have to be fiercely um, confident within yourself because you really have to hit the, the hit the pavement. You have to interface with people. You have to be comfortable marketing. You have to be comfortable asking questions, whether it be asking for help or asking for resources or referrals. Uh, social media has been wonderful. Being a radio show host and being connected to a couple networks, uh, one through my podcast being syndicated and the other one where I go live every Friday, the Contact Talk Radio Network. Uh, it's been a beautiful platform to once again talk about my books, talk to other authors, talk to people who are professional musicians, talk to anybody who's like truly passionate about anything. And the whole premise of the network and my host show is personal empowerment. So it's carte blanche, you know, I as the host can talk about whatever with whomever. Uh, and I've had some stellar guests on my show and one has resulted in a collaboration with now my third book, which will be going to print in September. That's called Planet Pomegranate. And so Rob Cruz, who's a former member of the Canadian iconic band The Spoons, I've now had on my show twice, and we're friends, and uh, we keep in contact regularly about uh, the project coming to fruition and uh, the lead-up stages to that. And so he was just lovely. I loved having him on my show. He had purchased my e-books, loved my e-books, and as a result of sharing that with me, I decided to have him on my show. I thought, okay, that's great, lovely experience. I probably won't hear from Rob again, even though we're Facebook friends, but he's very busy in his world and I'm very busy in mine. And he, within 24 hours of going live on my radio show, sought me out through text and said, what are, what are you next working on? I'd love to collaborate with you. So when I discussed the premise of my third and my fourth book, he said, I absolutely love Planet Pomegranate. Can you know we do something with that? And I said, absolutely. That would be an honor and a privilege. So... Um, so yeah, we're going to, we're, we're working on that. We're doing a musical compilation feature that would be attached to the book. So there's music and the story itself. In 10 years, um, I see myself really just loving writing. I think I'm gonna go off in a, a bunch of different tangents and different directions. I think at some point I may always come back to children's literature, but I'm definitely in the process of moving on to some adult material and uh, I actually do as a result of my last training opportunity in California with four of my New York Times best-selling author mentors. Uh, I was very blown away outside of just the gift of the training and to be in their presence and to learn from people who are already mastered and honed what it is I'm endeavoring to do. Uh, but at the end of it they asked if I would be interested in uh, contributing a chapter to a transformational book which they're all co-authoring on if I wanted to co-author a chapter and I said absolutely that would be great so um, that will be coming out sometime next year and so to have my work in the same book as a compilation with people that I respect who I admire who I've been trained by who are walking their talk and living the life in which I'm trying to continually endeavor to do at different levels different milestones um, it's just amazing. So yeah, I want to continue writing. I want to continue connecting, connecting other people to other people. Um, you know, I see mentorship of my own down the road with individuals, whether it be part and parcel of the passion test and really helping other people get clear on their passions or just as a result of my own journey because I do receive a lot of those types of inquiries and questions now. You know, Lisa, are you mentoring people? You know, could I spend some time with you? You know, I'm really inspired by what you're doing. I just, you know, I've, I'm kind of in a bit of a stump right now. I'm lacking some direction or some motivation. I think if I sat down with you for like an hour, had a coffee, I'll buy you a coffee. Can we maybe, you know, so I've done some of that behind the scenes and I think once I've become more established and, and everything's kind of running more like a, a tight ship, uh, then I can endeavor to do other things that might require a little bit more full-time schedule on my part. Um, and I just want to continue, you know, having fun with my children. I want to continue uh, watch them grow and flourish and see how that further inspires me as a mother, as a writer, um, all that yummy stuff. So. Uh, yeah, I just want to be, you know, I, I'm not in competition with anyone. I just aspire to be the best version of myself possible. I'm open to obviously learning every single day. 
Uh, you know, I, I know that there's a lot of things that I continually need to work on. Um, you know, that's part of being a human being, but uh, holding yourself as accountable as you would somebody else. It's, you know, it's very comfortable for people to externally put out there, well, you know, if you didn't do this or if you weren't this way or if you hadn't treated me that way, you know, don't put your energy into that. What can you do to make yourself the best version of who you want to be possible? And once you focus on that, that's the stuff that you put out there. You can't control where other people are at with their own level of self-awareness, where people are at within their own journey or their healing process, or to some degree people are still maybe feeling stuck or blocked or, um, you know, or not necessarily as positive. I mean, it's not about comparing. But for me, I am very clear about the energy I want to immerse myself in, the types of people I wish to continually align myself with and, or, and surround myself with, um, the, what, what I will read, what I will listen to, what I will talk about, it's all now incorporated into my DNA. So the more you sponge up that stuff that you say you, that is the type of world you want to live and exist in and contribute to, then you, it's, you gotta change the real that's happening within yourself. Again, how you think, how you speak, how you interact. And, uh, and that's what I'm committed to doing every day. And I mean, I've got a long way to go, you know? Everybody, every, but I'm committed to that. I own that.